They don't say much about the brands I choose, except for Mike Sells potato chips. They say it has to be Mike Sells, because they really do taste better. That's because they're prepared in 100% premium peanut oil, which makes them so naturally delicious. When it comes to potato chips, everyone in the family loves Mike Sells. And whether it's old-fashioned, groovy, or original, they all agree, Mike Sells, they are delicious. Toll Road here, and I am in sad day here. I'm outside of Mike Sells Potato Chips at 3333 Leo Street, Dayton, Ohio. They're going out of business, or at least they're going to stop making them here in Dayton. They've been made here since 1910. That's older than, well, you knew whose name I was going to drop there. That's older than someone I know. But uh, they've been bought out, or they sold out to a cons. Con! Lancaster, Ohio. Con! And it would not be made here in Dayton anymore. So from what I can tell, they've got two or three hundred employees and they were made here in this factory for that long of a time. They were called uh, the oldest continuously run potato chip company in America. Over a hundred, what's that, 113 years almost. Let's see how far back this goes. But all these chips will not be made here anymore. So I couldn't let Mike Sells go away, even though they'll still be producing them or selling them from the uh, cons out of Lancaster. Con! But it, it's just more of they sold the uh, intellectual property of the name to it. it who knows if it's going to be the same. So I had to get one last bag of the old fashioned, the original recipe. Crisp? and hearty. They've been creating delicious since 1910. Now look on back of the bag. You'll see this right here. In 1910, our founder, D.W. Mikesell, created the first batches of potato chips that bear his name. His sons delivered them by horse and buggy to the kitchen tables of families all over town. We may have retired the horse and buggy. But these crisp, golden chips, golden chips, are a taste of those original hometown days. From their family to ours, thank you. And of an era. Now when I bought, I said, I got to get one of the last bags that was still made in Dayton. These, today is fe February 19th, February 20th, something like that. I had to grab a bag. I grabbed one real quick, got up to the register. Reduced fat. Reduced fat? The last bag of chips I eat from Mike Sells is not going to be reduced fat. I need all the fat. So I got myself, I went back. I got the old fashioned. Uh, this says uh, serving size is 9.5 servings per container. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's crack her open. Oh, would you look at the size of this? I mean, that looks like that looks like a giant island. Got to do it. Last time, Mike sells. Got to have a. Crunchy and delicious. Local chips. Uh, a lot of you out there probably never heard of Mike Sells. Dayton based. Uh, Ohio area, Kentucky, into Indiana, and I believe maybe even Illinois has a little bit of their distribution. Localized trips are chips are kind of a thing of the past. These grocery stores, it's a fight for the shelf space and Frito-Lay, they got, they got muscles to flex. I think that's 
part of what happened. You know, in the in them supermarkets, you got to have the prime locations. Uh, Mike sells. One of the things was used to be in the day you'd have your salesman. He'd go to the grocery store. He'd get to know the grocery store manager. You know, they talked. Hey, don't put El Cheapo chips here. Put Mike sells. Make some money. Worked out fine. Times changed. It's all big corporations. You know, analytics companies, Kroger's, Myers, Walmart, they have their own store brands that they, they want to get space in. They're making money on. And the small guys just couldn't compete. So I guess my local chip now will have to be, uh, I've never had the con. Maybe I'll try that. Hey, next time I'm out in Zanesville area, I don't know how big of an area they have. Cincinnati down the road, they have Grippo's chips. I'll still eat them. I'll have to show you a Grippo chip once too. Getting a little off topic here, but a Grippo chip, when they say it's barbecue, -wee, they don't cheat you. They don't cheat you on the barbecue. Mike Sells didn't either, but I, Grippo's goes over the top. I gotta get another one of these chips. Gonna miss them. Miss the local stuff. Everything's getting worse like that. When I say two or three hundred people, I mean you spent your whole life making potato chips. That's that's not a very transferable skill there, you know. Uh, sir, what'd you do at your last job? Why well, I was the best potato peeler. Unless you're a buck private in the army, potato peeling skills aren't going to get you too far. Going to miss you, Mike Sells. You know a lot of people out there probably don't know what I'm talking about. Probably don't know why I'm doing an extended video on a bag of potato chips. But as their commercials used to always say about Mike Sells potato chips, they are delicious. And I think they used to cook them in peanut oil. I don't I think they might have stopped that as as allergies became a little bit more prevalent. But I remember back in the day they were made in peanut oil. I think I just spit some of them on it. Gross. Should I edit that out or leave? Nah, I'll leave it in. Maybe no one saw the spittle there. All right. Harley, you want a grip? Harley, you want a chip? Now, Harley and Kimba didn't want to cooperate, but I got one guy here that I know eats some Mike Sells. Little Joe, care for a chip? Hey, care for a chip? They are delicious. What, is that you? They are delicious. That's going to do it for the toll road here at Mike Sells Potato Chips. And who knows where the toll road will lead to next.